Talmud Bavli Gemara Brachot, Perak Hanishi, Daf Lamed Gimel Aleph, Chapter 5, Page 33a. We're just going to start from the last line of the previous page. Ilu Haita, O Medli Fne Melpa, Savadam Uva Haverecha, Venatanaka Shalom Haita. If you had been standing before a king of flesh and blood, and your friend had come and extended a greeting to you, would you, next page, would you, Mahazilo, have returned a greeting to him? Amalolav, no, replied the general. Replied the general. The im hayita Mahazilo me hayu osim lecha. And if you would have returned it to him, what would they have done to you? Amalo hayu chot him et roshi besayif. They would have cut my head off with a sword, replied the general. Amalo, the man said to him, Vahalot varim kalvachomer, then does the matter not stand to reason? Uma ata shehayita o medlifne melech basavadam shehayom kan o machaba keve kach nephew. Who had you been standing before a king of flesh and blood who is here today in the grave tomorrow? Uh, would it, if you had behaved like that, Ani shehayiti o medlifne melech machayam lachim akadosh baruchu shehu chai vekayam laad. I, who was standing before the King of Kings, the Holy One, blessed is He, who lives and endures forever and ever, how much more so? Immediately the general was appeased, and the pious man departed to his home in peace. I feel Nachash Karoch. Al Akevalo Yafsik, even if a snake is coiled about his heel, he should not interrupt. Ama Rosheshet Rosheshet said, Lo Shano Ela Nachash, they taught this rule about a snake, Aval Akrav Posek, but for a scorpion you can interrupt. Metive, they challenged this. Nafalegov Arayot Ein Meidin Alav Shemet. A person fell into a lion's den, cannot bear witness. Uh, one cannot bear witness that he died because the lions may not have devoured him. Nafal lachafira melea nachashim akrabim meidin alav shemet. He fell, and but if he fell into a pit full of snakes or scorpions. You can bear, one can bear witness that he died. Shani hatam dagav itzatza mazke. It is different because due to the pressure that the falling man puts upon them, they do harm, it, harm him. So a snake is less likely to do harm than a scorpion. Ama Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak said, Ra'a shavrim posak. If one observed bulls, he should interrupt his prayers. Detane Rav Oshaya wrote for Rav Oshaya taught in a brisa. Machikin Mishor Tam Chamishim Ama. We distance ourselves from an innocuous bull. Fifty Ama Umishom Moad Muad Kim Lo Ena from a bull that goes habitually as far as the eye can see. Tana Mishmeim Rabbi Meir. A brisa was taught in the name of Rabbi Meir. Reish Torah Bitzkula. Bidikula, if the head of a bull is in its feeding basket, selik selik la agra ushti darga mitutach, go up to the roof and remove the ladder from under you. Amashmuel <coughs> Shmuel said, Hane mile besho shachor of your main Nisan. This is only with regard to a black bull and only in the days of Nisan. Mipne sheha satan meraked lo ben karnav, because the Satan dances between his horns. So the explanation here Nissan coincides with the onset of spring. Once the dry, grassless winter passes and the bull observes that the field is again green, his mood becomes expansive and is overcome by destructive urges. That's what Rashi says. Tana Rabbanam, the Rabbis taught in the Baraisa, Masepe Makome Chad, Shehaya Arod, Vehaya Mazik et Habriot, a story in a certain place in which there was an Arod that would harm the people. 
and a rod is a crossbreed of the snake and a tzav. So Rashi says this, like a toad. Ba'u vehodiu lo le Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa. They came and told Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa. Amalahem, he said to them, Haru li et choro, show me its burrow. Here uhu et choro, they showed him its burrow. Natan akevo al pi hachor, he placed his heel over the mouth of the burrow. Yetza u neshacho umet oto arod. And the Arod exited and bit him, and the Arod died. Natlu Natlu al Ktefo Vehevio Levet Midrash. He placed it upon his shoulder and brought it to the study hall. Amalahem, he said to them, Reu Banai ein Arod Memet Ela Hachet Memit. See, my children, it is not the Yarod that kills, but rather the, the sin that kills. At that time they said, Woe to the man who is met by an Arod, but woe to the Arod that is met by Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa. Mishnah. Mazkirin Gevorot Geshamim Bitriyat Hametim. We mentioned the power of rain. During the bracha of resurrection of the dead, Usha'ela bevir katashanim, and a request, uh, and a request for rain during the blessing of the years. The <coughs> havdala bechonin hadat and havdala on uh, after Shabbos during the gracious giver of wisdom during chonin hadat. Rabbi Akiva Meir Rabbi Akiva says. Om Rabracha Rabbi Itbi Fneyatma he recites Abdullah as a fourth blessing by itself. Rabbi Eliezer Omer Rabbi Eliezer says Bahoda You say it during say Abdullah during uh during Modim, during Thanksgiving. Gemara. Maz Kirin Gavarotka Shamim, we mention the power of rain. Uh, that's during uh during Triatam eighteen, during resurrection of the dead. My Tama, what's the reason for this? Amar Rav Yosef. Rav Yosef said, Mitoch Shashakulat Kitriyatamaitim, because rain is tantamount to the resurrection of the dead. Leficha Keva Uha Bitriyatamaitim, they therefore fixed it in the resurrection of the dead. Usha'ela Bibikat Hashanim, and a request for rain during Bibikat Hashanim, during blessings of the years. My Tama, what's the reason for this? Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef said, Mitok Shehi Parnasa, because rain gives sustenance, Lefichach Keva Uha Bevirkat Parnasa, they therefore fixed it in the blessing of sustenance. Havdala, the Mishnah continues, Havdala Bechonen Hadaat, Havdala is during Chonen Hadaat, which is the fourth blessing in Shimon Esre. My time, what's the reason for this? Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef said, because it is um, it is wisdom, they therefore fixed it in the blessing of wisdom. But the sages say, since it is the beginning of the of the week of the mundane week, Bevir Katchol, they therefore fixed it in the blessings of the weekdays. Just going to scroll down. So we are at um, Amarabi Ami, which is on the screen, it's about seven lines down from the top in the middle. And on the page, it's about, uh, it's halfway down the page. Right in the middle. Ama Rabbi Ami, Rabbi Ami said, Gadola de'er shenitna bitchilat bracha shel chol. Great is understanding that, uh, that uh, was placed at the beginning of the weekday blessings. 
ואמר רבי עמי, רבי עמי סייג גדול הדעה שניתנה בין שתי אותיות great is understanding for it was between two divine names שנאמר כי אל דעות השם as it says for the God of דעות of understanding is השם וכל מי שאין בו דעה and if someone does not have understanding אסור לרחם עליו, it is forbidden to have mercy on him, שנאמר כי לא אמבינות הוא על כן לו, ירחמנו עושהו, for it says, for it is not a people of understanding, therefore to make a shall not have compassion on it. אמר רבי אלעזר, רבי אלעזר said, גדול מקדש שניתן בין שתי אותיות, great is the sanctuary, for it was placed between two divine names. Shnema pa'alta Hashem mikdash Hashem. As it says, you have made, O Hashem, the sanctuary, my Lord. Ve'ama Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Elazar said, Kol adam sheyesh bode'a, for any person that has understanding, ke'ilu nivna be'et ha'mikdash be'yamav, it is as if the sanctuary were built in his days. De'a nitna be'in shte'otiyot, for understanding was placed between two divine names. Mikdash nitan be'in shte'otiyot, the sanctuary, the sanctuary was placed between two, two divine names. Matkif la Rav Acha Karchina'a, Rav Acha Karchina'a objected. Eila me'ata gadola nekama shinitna ben shtei otiyot, but accordingly great is vengeance, for it was placed between two divine names, shinimar. El nekamot Hashem, for it's written, O God of vengeance, Hashem. Amalei, Rabbi Lazar said to him, Ein b'milta miha gedolahi, yes, in its place it is indeed a great thing. V'hainu da'amar ula, and this is what ula said, Shte nekamot ha'lulama, why these two vengeances in the verse, Achad letova, v'achad lera'a, one is for benefit, reward, and one is for punishment, לטובה דכתיב הופיע מהר פרען. For benefit as it's written, he appeared from Mount Paran. לרעה דכתיב אל נקמות השם אל נקמות הופיע. For punishment as it's written, O God of vengeance, Hashem, O God of vengeance, appear. רבי עקיבא אומר, אומר הברכה רבית כולי. Rabbi Akiva says he recites Havdalah as a fourth blessing by itself. This is from the Mishnah. Ama le Rav Shemen bar Abba le Rabbi Yochanan. Rav Shemen bar Abba said to Rabbi Yochanan, Mikdi an sheikneset Havdalah tiknu lahem li Yisrael brachot u tchilot kudushot vahavdalot. Consider the men of the great assembly ordained for Israel blessings, prayers, kiddush and Havdalah. Nechazehe chantakun. Let us see... Where they ordained Havdalah to be said. Amalei, he answered him, Batchila Kavauha Batchila. At first, uh, the men of the great assembly fixed Havdalah within prayer. <coughs> that is part of the Shman Esrit. Heeshiru Kavauha al Hakos. So when the people became more affluent, they fixed it over a cup. That is, they set it after the after tefillah as a special as the special havdalah service. Ha'ainu chazru ukvauha batfila, and when the people again became impoverished, they reverted and fixed it in the prayer again in tefillah again in the Shmon Esrei. Vehem amru hamavdil batfila tzarich sheavdil al hakos, but they said that one who recites havdalah during prayer must recite havdalah secondly over a cup. Uh, as long as he's able to do so. It manami, it has also been stated, Amar Rabbi Chia Bar Abba, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Chia Bar Abba said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, An Sheikh Neset Hagdola Tiknu Lahem Yisrael Brach Batot Filot, Kedushat Bahavdalot, the men of the great assembly ordained for Israel, blessings, prayers, Kedush and Havdalah. Batchila Kavuha Batfila, at first they fixed Havdalah within prayer, Rather than over the cup, over the wine. He'eshiru kavauha al hakos. And when the people became more affluent, they fixed it over a cup. Chazru ve'he'enu kavauha 
but Tfila and when the people again became impoverished, they reverted and fixed Havdil Allah in prayer. The Hemam Roham Havdil, the Tfila Tsarir Shi Havdil Al Hakos, but they said that one who recites Havdil during prayer must recite Havdil over a cup of wine as long as he's able to do so. It's Manami, it has also been said, Rabba for Rav Yosef to Amre, Teravai Yehu, Rabba and Rav Yosef both said, Hamavdil betfila tsarir shiavdil al hakos, one who recites Havdila during prayer must recite Havdila over a cup of wine. Amar Rabba, Rabba said, Umot vinan ashmatin, but we can challenge our teaching. Ta'a velohiz keb hurot keshamim bitriyat ametin, if he made an error and did not mention the power of rain during the resurrection of the dead, or the request to reign in the blessing of the years, we have him repeat, but in uh, in Konen Hadaat, in gracious giver of wisdom, we do not have him repeat, since is able to recite Havdala over a cup of wine. Do not read, do not read since he is able to recite over a cup of wine. Rather read since he recites it over a cup of wine. It has also been said. Ama Rabbi Binyamin Bar Yefet, Rabbi Binyamin Bar Yefet said, Sha'al Rabbi Yossi et Rabbi Yochanan Betzidon, Rabbi Yossi inquired of Rabbi Yochanan in Sidon, Ve Amre la Rabbi Shimon ben Yaakov dimin, dimin Tzor et Rabbi Yochanan, and others have that Rabbi Shimon ben Yaakov of Tzor asked Rabbi Yochanan, Ve Anna Sham it, and I overheard. Hamavdil betfila tsarich sheyavdil al hakos olo. Someone who recited havdala during prayer must he recite havdala over a cup of wine or not, meaning say it the second time. Ba'amale and Rabbi Yochanan answered, Tsarich sheyavdil al hakos. He must recite havdala over a cup. Ibayalehu they inquired, Hamavdil al hakos mahu sheyavdil betfila. Someone who recited havdala over a cup. Must he recite Havdalah during prayer? Amar Rav Nachman Bar Yitzhak, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzhak said, Kal v'chomer mitfilah, this is a Kal v'chomer, it stands to reason, that he does it, uh, that uh, it is said during the prayer, Umat filah te'ika takan tahi, if uh, in prayer, it, if it's said in prayer, this is the primary uh, point in time to say it, or the primary enactment. They said that one who recites Abdullah during prayer must recite Abdullah over a cup of wine. Mavdil al hakos dilav ikar tekanta hi lo kol sheken. One who recited Abdullah over over a cup. Which is not the primary enactment, certainly he needs to say Havdalah during prayer. Tane Rav Acha Aricha Kame de Rav Chinana Rav Acha Aricha recited a Baraisa before Rav Chinana. Amavdil Bitfila Meshubach Yotemimi Shiavdil Al Hakos. One who recites Havdalah during prayer is more praiseworthy than one who recites Havdalah over a cup. But if he recited Havdalah in both prayer and over a cup, let the blessings rest on his head. <coughs> so, the, so this is a contradiction. You say one who recites Havdalah during prayers is more praiseworthy than one who recites Havdalah over, over a cup. This implies that prayer uh, is sufficient and doing it over the cup is not necessary. But then the Barisa teaches 
that if you recited Havdalah in both, that is, during a Shema Yisra and over a cup, then let the blessing rest on his head. But since he fulfills with one, that is, during the Shemun Esra, he is exempt from any further obligation. So it is unnecessary, it is an unnecessary blessing. While others say it was Reish Lakish that said this, while others say that both Rabbi Yochanan and Reish Lakish said, Anyone who utters an unnecessary blessing transgresses the prohibition of you shall not take, <coughs> meaning you shall not take the name of Hashem, you have got in vain. Ela Ema Hachi rather say as follows. If you recited Havdalah in one, that is during Shemun Esra, and did not recite Havdalah in the other, that is over a cup, then let the blessings rest on his head. What if he made an error and forgot to recite Havdalah in both prayers? In both prayer and over the cup, Amale Rav Sheshit answered him, Ta'abazo uvazo chazel arosh. If he made an error with regard to both, he must go back to the beginning and pray again. <laughs>